from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great news about your fourth seamless check update of 2021. In today's recording, we go over that monthly seamless check and why you're likely to get more months of checks from the Democrats. Then we cut to the recon, a done deal. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people and including you. This is for a stimulus, not third stimulus in the children's checks. These are checks for everyone, including my seniors and my workers. And then we cut to the vote in a breaking news across the board. In the final 15 minutes of this video, you'll see why Ch Leader Schumer says that both pass, the recon and the bipartisan, will hit to the head to the finish line and get over the finish line by the August recess. The incredible details of what's going on, what happened over the weekend, what's happening today, and what's happening tomorrow. I have all the breaking news in the final 15 minutes of this video. Then we cut to Fistum, which was raise your benefits off a lifetime. And then we turn to you. Viewers are getting upwards of $32,000 from this channel. It's your opportunity to get this big money as well. It's a big afternoon with a lot of breaking news across the land. And it starts right here, right now, direct from Santa Monica. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? Hope you're having a beautiful week. You know, it cooled down last week, and it still stayed cool here in Southern California, Santa Monica, onshore breeze, beautiful sun, not too hot, not too cold. It's been perfect weather. Keep our fingers crossed. How's the weather where you are? Jump in the live chat and tell me if you're in paradise as well. And if not, tell me how the weather is where you are. In this four stimulus check update of 2021, we're going to go over that monthly stimulus check and why the Democrats are likely to give you more months of checks. Then we cut to the recon. Your money. Done. Deal. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to you. This is a lot of checks. A historic day for the American people, says Bernie Sanders. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people in the recon. This is not the children's checks. This is everyone, including my seniors and workers. I go, I go over all the incredible details in the second half of this video. Then in the final 15 minutes of this video, you stay to the very end because this is where all the breaking news is happening. Leader Schumer confirms that both pass, the recon and the bipartisan, will go to a final vote by the August recess. I have all the details about what's voting today, what voted over the weekend, what's happening all this week, and the finish line is in front of us. I go over what you should anticipate and all the twists and turns still at hand. Then we cut to fist stimulus, which raises your benefits up a lifetime. And this is the SSI and SSDI benefits you've been promised. And then we turn to this. $32,000 that viewers are getting from this channel with $18,000 for SNAP, $7,000 for utilities, and $27,000 for rent. I'm going to show you how you can get upwards of $32,000 from this channel. And this... It's Alight, America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week, financial news channel in America. Live in the morning and taped to the afternoons. Coming up next is Evening's Alight with a new broadcast tonight. And then it's Sir Loin at 8 o'clock. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record in one year. I want you part of this incredible family where people care for each other and help each other and get big sums of money daily. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Let's cut right to that monthly stimulus check starting right now. House bill, Senate proposal. Both monthly, both slightly different. When you look at the House versus Senate, there's a different amount, amount of payout and a different number of checks. First, House. Pandemic plus one year monthly stimulus check. Senate approach July to December. Let's go over the payouts. House, $1,000 after the first month of $2,000. Senate monthly unknown, but word on the streets the Senate would pay you this. Deliciousness. <laughs> $2,000 over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 over six months, $8,400. The whole universe changed in upwards of five weeks as Delta is now ravaging out of control. Today, Dr. Fauci said that Delta will get far more serious than it even is right now. And with that, the House bill pays pandemic plus one year. So while we may have thought uh, two months ago that maybe the pandemic's over, it's not over. And that House bill would pay more than 12 checks, which would be over more than one year, which would be more than $13,000 from the House. Compare that. House 
to this and the Senate? <laughs> I think you have an opinion. I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now and vote House of Senate. House of Senate, tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Vote House of Senate right now. Who gets that fourth stimulus check? Democrats represent that you've got a third. You're getting a fourth. Single individual, 75000 or less. Democrats represent you get a fourth stimulus check. Mary couple, 150000 or less. Democrats represent you get a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Family of four. Democrats represent you get a fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, Democrats represent you get a fourth stimulus check like SSI, SSDI, VA, and everyone else. The fourth stimulus check is not income. It's not taxable. The fourth stimulus check would not be a different amount for different people. Everyone's included, including adult dependents. And the fourth stimulus check is not a waivable check. And I continue to forget that. <laughs> it's a monthly stimulus check. I was at Senator Ron Portman's pork belly roast over the weekend. Saw him from afar, got one of his pork belly sandwiches when I walked. It smelled delicious. Remember, Ron Portman is the guy working on the infrastructure bill that goes to a vote this week. He's also the guy from last year who said, uh, you're lazy, get back to work, I'm cutting off your unemployment benefits. So I walked in, I got that pork belly sandwich. Smelled delicious, but it was uncooked. It needed more work on it. So I walked into Senator Portman. I said, hi, Senator Portman. Hello, Elaine. I recognize you from your purple shirt. How are you? Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. I didn't want to wave at you from afar. No, I'm not a waveable check. Well, uh, Senator Portman, I had a bite of your uh, your pork belly Portman sandwich, and it's a little bit undercooked. It needs more work on it. Get back to work and get back to work on your unemployment, on your uh, pork belly sandwich. Get out of here, L.A. <laughs> Needless to say, I cut off his unemployment benefits as well. <laughs> The second stimulus uh, heat is nothing like the heat of the fourth stimulus. And in the second part of this video, we'll be cutting to the recon. A done deal. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to you. Bernie Sanders said this, this is a historic day for the American people. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to you in this fourth stimulus recon. It's a done deal. All they have to do is call for the vote. They've caucused on it. They've agreed upon the price tag. I have all the incredible news in the second half of this video. Then the third part of this video, we go over the vote. It's the final 15 minutes of this video. Stay to the very end. We go over the vote, the bills, the dates, everything you need to know about what's happening in these fi final days before the August recess. It's heating up with the promise by Leader Schumer. They're both going to get done by the August recess. Then we cut to fifth stimulus. But first, let's get some money. Oh, boy. I was recording videos on this channel over a few weeks ago where I said I can get you $5,000 of rent, four to six months of rent. Get that pen and paper ready because I'm going to get you money right now. I'm going to get you some money for rent, utilities, mortgage, and homeowners utilities. But, you know, a few weeks ago, I was saying I could get you $5,000 of rent, four to six months of rent. Not $5,000. So what happened? This happened. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Over the weekend, Elizabeth got $27,000 from the videos of this channel. Mark got $25,000 from the videos of this channel. Nancy, $24,000. Richard, $22,000. And Nisi, who's under the overlay graphic, got $20,000 for rent. When I talked about utilities, I said I can get you $300 for utilities. Suddenly, viewers were starting to get $3,000 for utilities. And then this. Oh, my goodness. Nancy, congratulations. Nancy got $7,000 for utilities. Mark, because of my videos, got $6,500 for utilities. Angela, because of my videos, got $5,000 for utilities. The community of the Purple Power continued to win and win big. When we turned to Snap, which I said was five dollars to $6,000, Purple Power numbers are absolutely through the roof. Yes, look at that deliciousness. Louis, congratulations, and John and Nancy. $18,000, $10,000, and $5,000. And if you see some names reoccurring, it's because they got the combo. Oh my goodness. Nancy, because of my videos on this channel, from three items, got $32,000. Mark, from two items from videos of this channel, got $32,000. And Nisi, with three items, got $23,000. This is what this community does. We cash checks. We don't track them. And that's why this channel launched in spring of last year. EID alone and grant checks were supposed to come in three days under the law. But we didn't hold up a calendar and say, three days have passed, where's my check? Because the check wasn't coming. No check to track. We cashed them. I got viewers $25 million of EI deal loans approved. Save their businesses, save their homes, and save their employees' homes. But in fall 2020, we had a similar problem. Second stimulus checks were not coming. So I stepped forward and I got viewers a quarter million dollars of rent. Got Tyrone and his family four out of, Bo out of Boston. $15,000 of rent. Paid all his rent to the spring. 
And now we're doing it again, but just bigger numbers. You see those numbers. So get in paper, pen and paper ready. We're going to go over the big money what you can get right now. We're going to go over rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and also homeowners utilities. You're going to reach out to different places. I'm going to show you different places have different eligibility. So if one says no, reach out to the next. They also have their own eligibility. Meantime, they also have their own pots of money. And listen for the keywords, because viewers tell me the keywords help them get approved. Are you ready? Here we go. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority. Your county hall, your county housing authority. Your state hall, your state housing authority. The keywords you're going to use are rent assistance because of COVID, or mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Um, you don't use words they don't know, like stimulus, or Ron Portman's popularity uh, fan club. <sighs> doesn't exist. I mean, I just, I never heard of it. <laughs> they don't know about it. I, I just don't know about it either. And congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this wonderful money for rent. If you got rent as well, post in the live chat. And if you got, if you got utilities, post in the live chat. Let's turn to some snap. And yes, Louis, congratulations, 18,000. John, 10 to 12,000. Congratulations. What is snap? Snap is money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. How much does it pay? A fortune. A family of four out of Hawaii gets upwards of $16,000 a year. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December. Eligibility for SNAP is easier than a stimulus check. Congratulations, Lingalan, who got it for herself and her son and her mom and also Gail. If you got Snap as well, post in the live chat, and we're killing it. Only 11 minutes this video, and we've gotten $25,000 for rent, $18,000 for Snap, $8,000 for utilities, and we're just getting started. Now, the refund check from your states due to overpayment of unemployment benefits and a computer error. Federal government has ordered this return back to you. Where is it landing? Direct deposit. Can you track it? Yeah, call up your state. Say, hey, state, I want to track that check due to computer error. Um, and can you, this time when you track it for me can you plug in the keyboard <laughs> it sort of helps and then finally the refund check coming back from irs this is incredible great news margaret got it cod got it michael got it and if you didn't get it well don't worry because it's a waveable check <laughs> sorry mitch sorry rod it's a waveable check and we have a press release from irs the latest wave the average payment is 1265 this latest wave started july 14th and for paper for mail and paper july 16th there's a new wave every week Meantime, break for a second. Before I continue with that, if you have not posted success stories for rent, utilities, mortgage, or homeowners utilities, post them in the live chat because the spirit of this channel is love and people helping one another. When you post your success stories, you help people three different ways. Number one, when you post your success stories on the live chat, you inspire people to get money. Like when they see my graphic, they see, wow, these are big sums of money. I should be getting them. I got a stimulus check. I probably qualify. I should go get this money. So post your success stories. You inspire other people. Number two, when you get three items like Art Sullivan, you inspire other people to get three items. Nisa got three items. She inspired others. Now we see Nancy with 32000 Mark got 32000 with two items. So Mark, I go get some snap. You'll get up to 40000 <laughs> There you go. It inspires people to get more, uh, get all three items. And finally, it updates us about the numbers. We realize rent has gone from 5000 to 27000 and SNAP has gone from 5000 to 18000 All right, let's get back to that unemployment benefits. How much, let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment benefits, you paid $5,000 of taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits, you're getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. Can you track it? Yes, go to irs.gov and do a transcript search. 70% of the time it'll work. It'll reveal the tax return you file and the taxes you pay. Ah, uh, and then it'll reveal stuff you didn't want to know. Stuff you wish you forgot you saw. <laughs> it'll reveal when Ron Portman was on Star Search. Was that hairstyle he did also from Amazon Hair? <laughs> Air tag me, Ron. And there you go. It'll also reveal the tax refund check you're getting and its routing time. Can we top that? We can. As we go into the second part of your fourth stimulus check update on this big afternoon's LA broadcast starting right now. Deal done. The recon is a done deal. All they have to do is call the vote. The Democratic caucus has agreed no less than two times to pass the recon. Price tag, $3.5 trillion. Contents, checks. All checks for you. Remember, third stimulus was children's checks. This is fourth stimulus. These are checks for everyone. More about the checks later in this video. How do we reach this spot? Because originally the recon before July 4th had roads and bridges in there. And with those roads and bridges in there, it was not passable, the recon. They took the roads and bridges out, shrunk the recon, and put those roads and bridges into the bipartisan, making the bipartisan with the roads and bridges and your money with the recon 
both passable. The confirmation comes from conservative publication just days ago before the $3.5 trillion price tag was revealed. The higher the price tag was on the recon beforehand, the harder it, the harder it was to pass. There you go, confirmation. But by allowing the Democrats to take out some of the spending from the recon and put in the bipartisan roads and bridges, the overall price tag of the recon got smaller, obviously. In other words, the bipartisan deal made the recon passable. But ironically, now you're seeing that the recon also made the bipartisan passable. How do we get to the spot? Well, the progressives, once they shrunk the recon by taking roads and bridges out, blew it up a little bit more to get to a big, bold number they wanted. And they got it. $3.5 trillion of checks for you. Congratulations. And the comments came in shortly before that price tag. Representative Elon Omar, Democrat, Minnesota, progressive, said, we have to have a recon that goes as far as we want it. You got it, Elon. Congratulations, $3.5 trillion. And then Representative Richie Torres said, we have to have a larger recon. You got it, Richie, $3.5 trillion. Congratulations. And the Progressive Caucus was meeting with the White House daily to ensure that the recon went big enough. They got it, $3.5 trillion. How did they do this? By protecting the recon. The president had specifically told Jalapal and also Brian Schatz, both Democrats, both progressives, to protect the recon. In fact, the quote was the following, the White House considers the progressive priorities in the recon their own priorities. So what is a recon? What is a bipartisan? How does it get written? How does it get passed? And what are the terms and details you need to know? On this channel, I use only two terms, as you see. Recon for your money, and for the roads and bridges, bipartisan, easy breezy. But the problem is that the broadcast media is getting an F in reporting, because 90% of the time they're swapping the terms and using the wrong term from the wrong item, or they're using one term to refer to both items. Oh my goodness. So let's go over the terminology so you see when there's misreporting and you understand what's going on. It's happening all over the place on broadcast media. Recon is your money. It's also called reconciliation. It's also called the budget bill. Price tag at $3.5 trillion. People quoting an article about it, like a Jollipal, a Bernie, an AOC, or a Nancy. Bipartisan, not your money. This is the roads and bridges, also called roads and bridges. <laughs> also called infrastructure. People quoting an article about this are Chris and Sinema, Ron Portman, Mitt Romney, and price tag less than $1.5 trillion. Okay, that's pretty easy. So, who writes a recon? A recon is written by Democrats for Democrats to be passed by Democrats. And who are the lead authors on writing the recon? The lead authors are House subcommittee members, which I'm going to detail later in this video. There's not a lot of them, just a few people. Those House subcommittee members get the support also of Democratic subcommittee members. Under the Constitution, different subcommittees of the House are delegated different subject matters. So, for example, House Ways and Means is responsible for writing the language about stimulus checks and unemployment benefits. When each of those subcommittees are done, let's say there's 10 of them, they send their written pages up to Chuck. Let's say it's 10 committees and 10 pages. He combines it 100 pages. And he puts a big S on it for Laverne and Shirley, for sugary, salty, seductive, schumerish. No, for Senate. And that's your recon. That is your recon. But more about that in a second. Let's go back a step. Before we see the recon, there's no constitutional requirement for transparency. So the House subcommittee members don't have to show you what they're writing and what they're not writing, what they're taking in, what they're taking out, what they're voting in favor of, and what they're voting against. And until we have the recon, we don't know specifically what's in there. That's what broadcast media and myself both agree upon. But when we do have the recon bill, it's not law yet. We have an emoji for that one, and that is a critical emoji this week. Not law yet. You're going to see modifications of the recon. It is not a finale, whatever is in there. That's described and detailed later in this video. But until that time, we also have another emoji. Not bill yet. And guess what? That's why broadcast media says we can't say what is an incident there. So if you hear a naysayer saying, I haven't heard of this in there, guess what? We haven't seen the recon. How do we get to this wonderful spot? By Jalapal, who had written a Schumer letter saying, Chuck, call the vote on the recon. Well, guess what? He's calling a vote on the recon, finally. That's coming up later in this video. Yes, the final 15 minutes stay at the very end. That letter by Jalapal was signed by 12 House Democrats, part of 100 plus, yes, 100, who had written the president a letter recently to provide monthly for stimulus checks. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful news. Can we top that? Yes. As seven members of the House Ways and Means Subcommittee, the same one you just went over? Yep, the same one. Recently wrote the president a letter saying, we're going to be providing 
monthly fourth stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package recon that we're writing. Oh my goodness, Purple Power. You got to keep these people to their promise. They promised they're giving you monthly fourth stimulus checks. We got to keep them to their promise. Can we top that? We can. They're also providing you a fifth stimulus. More about that later in this video. And we can top this as Biden did it. Six weeks ago, he went overseas for a ceremonial signature. The actual signature happened a few days ago in the United States. And what is it? The global minimum corporate tax rate minimum. Oh, I'm exhausted just saying it. <laughs> Why is this great news? Because that thing that is exhausting to say is not in the recon. It makes the recon easier because this confusing thing ain't in there. Number one, easier to write the recon because this confusing thing ain't in there. Easier to vote on the recon because it's called the vote on the recon because the confusing thing ain't in there. Easier to vote on the recon because the confusing thing ain't in there. And easier to pass the recon because this confusing thing ain't in there. And can we top that? We can. As we go into the final 15 minutes of this video, done, deal, $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to you. And the recon is set for a vote. Is it going to happen for a vote in just a few days? I have all the credible details. We are literally in front of the finish line, and I'll show you what's happening in the next few days. In the final 15 minutes of this video, we'll go over the next seven days, which at this point may be even five days. It's getting very tight, and I'm going to go all over all the incredible great news as we go into this final stretch. But first, something also wonderful, the volunteers. If you need help with rent, utilities, food, or internet, and you can't find it, don't worry. First, look for it, but if you can't find it, I got your back. The volunteers got your back. They're viewers just like you, just like you, embodying the true purple power spirit, people helping people. Open the description of this video. Go down the description. You'll see the volunteer, you'll see the community page. It's news.llite.com forward slash community. The community page sends you to a page with pictures of some kitty cats on it. Lower on the page are the volunteers. They're separated from Facebook. Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them. They'll help you get that big money for rent, utilities, mortgage, and internet. And I'll be back with you in 60 seconds with the final 15 and the latest breaking details about Fistimus. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Afternoons LA as we go into the final 15 of the final seven. So much breaking news as we literally have the finish line in front of us. We'll be going over the recon vote, the bipartisan vote. We'll be going over Schumer's representations, Jalapal Nancy, and also the president. There's a lot of happening, and it's in the final 15 minutes of this video. Also heating up its fist stimulus. So, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Best and fastest growing YouTube channel of its kind. Hit that subscribe button. Coming up next is Evening Delight. This video will automatically take you to there. But actually, uh, I correct myself. This video will automatically take you to Overnight's Crypto right after this video. But then Evening Delight is at 5 o'clock. So subscribe. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. It helps across the board. More about that later. During his campaign for president, the Uni President Biden has said that he was going to provide you SSI and SSDI reform that would raise your benefits up. 
during the transition time, he said the same thing as again. He did not deliver this SSI reform. So the Senate Democrats and the House Democrats are taking care of it for you. Where? In fifth stimulus. This is the SSI reform. What is fifth stimulus? It starts by drafting in September. Then we see the finality of it in a vote about November-ish. Then we see the benchmark applied in December. Let's go over all the details of it starting right now. First, they'll raise your benefits up, lifetime one time. They'll remove the asset limit, add an inflationary benchmark, remove the marriage penalty, and remove the income exclusion. Who is this for? It's for you. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, SSA, or multiple beneficiaries, it's for you. First thing they'll do is raise your benefits up, lifetime. Then they'll apply the new benchmark, when in December for next year's benefits. What is the new benchmark? Inflation. Where is it going? It's becoming transitory. What does that mean? Transitory is a sophisticated, fancy word said by Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, which basically means a temporary spike. When? December. Yes, right when they apply your benchmark. What perfect timing it is. How high is it going to go? My number, and that some Wall Street analysts are now repeating as well, is 5%. A temporary spec of 5% inflation in December. So if I'm right, let's go over the analysis right now. First, they'll raise your benefits up a lifetime, and then they'll apply that benchmark at that spike of December. And how high? Let's say it's 5%. Then your benefits will step up an additional 5%, not just next year, but lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. If the inflation rate is 2% the year after that, you'll be a plus 2, plus 5%. It's wonderful news. Then they're going to move the asset cap, dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 in hand. Now you have room to have some muddled... Did you just say muddled? There's nothing muddled about this. This is a purpley, purpley purple shirt. There's nothing muddleish about it. <clears throat> They'll give you a purple Crayola crown and some room to have some stimulus checks in your hand. <laughs> they're going to remove the, ask the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and stay on benefits. And finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty. And you'll be able to do a pair dance. You will be able to get married and no longer fear marriage penalty issues. And if you lost benefits due to the marriage penalty, they will be restored. Viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get a pair dance going on and get married as well. And that's fifth stimulus. But boy, um, if you notice people in the live chat who have a purple hawk next to their name, an emoji, and you want one and you wonder where they got it, they're becoming, they are members and as members, they're delivered from me to them daily. A breakdown of all the big money that is available for them in third stimulus. That's why, if you're on the live chat and you see these Purple Hawks getting these enormous sums of money, like 32000 Nancy, 32000 Mark, 23000 Anisi, they're getting it because I'm detailing it for them. Daily, I deliver to them a breakdown of all the big money under third stimulus. Let's recap. Under second stimulus, there was a $600 stimulus check last year. But I said, hey, I'm going to get you $6,000. I got Tyrone $15,000 for his family four out of Boston in December. And then in January, the third stimulus passed, a $1,400 stimulus check. I said, Purple Hawks, get ready to bounce. Hawk, hawk, because there will be $14,000 for me to get for you under third stimulus. I was wrong. They're getting now $32,000, the Purple Hawks, from third stimulus. And when fourth stimulus becomes a law, there's going to be tens of thousands of dollars for you in there as well. And I'm going to be ensuring that all Purple Hawks pounce and get this money first. So consider becoming a Purple Hawk so you get this big money. Finally, is there a fifth stimulus check as well? Yes, the Democrats represent they'll be getting a fifth stimulus check out next year. This would not overlap with the fourth stimulus check. And with that, let's go into the final 15 of the final seven starting right now. These are the final 15 minutes, the most critical part. I appreciate you staying to the very end because this is the breaking news you want to hear now on Afternoons LA starting right now. Done. Deal. Let's go to the recon first. It's a done deal. The recon has been agreed upon and effectively passed for a $3.5 trillion price tag. The Democratic senators, including her, yeah, I know her, have all agreed upon the passage of a $3.5 trillion recon. It's incredible great news. As Tim Kaine says, once you agree upon the price tag, it's all easy breezing from here. All you have to do is call the vote on the bill. Bernie Sanders called this a historic day for the American people because every check he wants to send to you is going out at 100% of what he asked for. 
just for a shorter period of time. Clearly, 3.5 is half a seven, so probably half the amount of years that he wanted. This is incredible great news. And while we do not have the, the actual recon bill, not bill yet, we have an emoji for that, I have some of the provisions and some of the checks that are coming out to you. Checks for seniors, checks for workers, checks for everyone. Here we go. First, free school meals for all checks, tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication checks, immigration reforms checks, greener farming checks, election checks, free internet checks. They're going to send fortunes to the local cities so that they can have their own internet company and offer you free internet. And then clean energy checks. And then finally, for my seniors and workers, oh, did I lose the page? Um, here it is. <laughs> workers. Checks for workers, checks for independent contractors, checks for unions and collective bargaining, and then checks for my seniors, checks for Medicare expansion, checks for lower eligibility age, checks for dental, checks for vision, and checks for hearing care. And there you go. That is the recon. Let's cut over to the bipartisan roads and bridges. Leader Schumer got incredible progress on the roads and bridges over the weekend. If you saw um, my Saturday recordings where I was a little um, neurotic as to Leader Schumer talking so much about the roads and bridges, now we know why. Because the roads and bridges was holding us all up. He was trying to get them moving. It's sort of like a school teacher. Can you get going? Can you get going? You're taking too long. You're holding up the rest of the class. So the rest of the class, of course, is the recon. He had three votes on the bipartisan to advance at the last two passed. Mitch McConnell's in favor of it. The Republicans are in favor of it. And now we actually have the bipartisan actually written in bill format. So this is incredible great news. Now let's cut back to the recon. So we have more clarity as to the subject matter that had made me skimmish, uh, sk uh, a little bit neurotic over the weekend, which was, was Schumer trying to call the vote on the roads and bridges first? Absolutely not. What Schumer was doing was trying to put heat on the people who were doing the roads and bridges because they were dragging their feet. They absolutely were dragging their feet. So now he has confirmed on Sunday, on Saturday, and last week, the two paths are heading to the finish line. Number one, he confirms that two paths will become law by the August recess. So I'm going to clarify that statement because he's said it again and now he's clarified his words. He says both paths, the recon and the bipartisan, will become a law, not just go through the Senate and head over to the House. He believes they'll both become a law by the August recess. Yes, this is incredible great news. Number two, the recon will go for a vote first. And then the bipartisan will go for a vote second. It may just be minutes later, but the recon will go for a vote first. On Thursday, uh, Bernie Sanders visited Nancy Pelosi to get her confirmation that she will only have the recon land in the House first. And she confirmed the same. The president said this to us recently. The president said that the recon will go first and that you cannot just send him one thing. He will throw it away if you only send him one thing. This is what the president said recently. If only one comes to me, then that then the only one that comes to me, I'm not signing it. They have to come to me both in tandem. Then he also said, the bipartisan from the very beginning was understood. There's going to be a second part of it, the recon. I'm not just going to be sign I'm not just going to be signing the bipartisan and forgetting about the rest, the recon. So there you go. The president confirms that you have to send him both bodies of legislations at the same time. We're starting on the Senate side, then we're going to the House. So what is coming into the House first? It must be the recon. Nancy Pelosi confirmed that to, uh, to Bernie Sanders on Thursday. She also said that in a new statement, and she also said it over the last month. As I said, there won't be a bipartisan unless we have a recon first, plain and simple. In fact, I use the word ain't. There ain't going to be a bipartisan unless we have the recon passed by the United States Senate first. And Jalapal has your back as well. In fact, we this is a quote from her. In fact, we did a poll of our members and the overwhelming majority of our Democrat caucus said they're not going to vote on the bipartisan without the recon together. So that is all taken care of. Wonderful, great news. To recap, Schumer, Pelosi, Biden, uh, Bernie and Jalapal all confirm the recon will go for a vote first and then the bipartisan. Next question is when? 
Schumer's is showing the American people that the two paths will be done by the August recess. And there's indication that the vote could happen within a few days. This is Schumer's representation. I'm going to be very clear to you. This is Schumer's representation as to when things are going to get done. I haven't heard Nancy say this. I haven't heard other people say it's going to get done by the August recess. This is Schumer's representation, not my representation. So what is my opinion as to timeline? Well, I've been doing these... Um, stimulus videos for just a few days. <laughs> and um, we have had times where the legislators do stay in town longer than the recess date because they need a few more days. They don't spend weeks later, but they spend, spend a few extra days. Um, here's what my opinion of the situation is. I don't think it's going to get done by the August recess. I think he's going to have to go a few more extra days. A few more extra days. Why? Because we hear a series of comments from Democrats that say, you know what? For that recon, I have not had my hands on that recon. I've not had my hands on the recon. And here's what you need to know. Is that recon currently, you have an emoji, not bill yet, also not law yet. But when it's a bill, when it lands in the Senate, potentially today, tomorrow, the day after, when it lands there, Senate Democrats and House Democrats have already said they're going to modify it. In fact, Chuck Schumer admits they're going to modify it. They're also going to modify the bipartisan. Why? Because the subcommittee members are not a lot of people. The House Ways and Means subcommittee, all these House subcommittee people are not a lot of people. When you talk about the Senate, it's 50 Democrats. When you talk about the House, it's 100 plus Democrats. We're just talking about Democrats for the recon. And they've all come out in the last seven days saying, you know what? It's great that the subcommittees are working on it. I am elected official, and I'm going to put my hands on it if I want to modify it, I want. This is great news for us. Why? You want them to modify it. We have to presume that there may be an imperfection in the recon that needs to get modified. Maybe something's left out. Maybe something's wrong. Maybe something needs to go higher. Maybe something needs to go lower. They need to modify things, and they will modify things. It'll start in the Senate, then it'll go to the House, then back to the Senate. Now, maybe Chuck's going to change the inversion, right? Because I have heard him say in the last 24 hours, Maybe they'll do the voteramas to start in the Senate before it goes to the House. Mm. Remember, if the House makes modification, it has to go back to the Senate. So if the House modifies, a, you know, the number 10 to the number 1, it has to go back to the Senate to, to approve. Can they all get that done by the August recess? I think they need a few extra days. I think they need a few extra days. Not a month, <laughs> not a week, but a few extra days. Um, next, there's a lot of other dramatics that are unfolding. And some of these remarks are important for you to know. On Friday, I got wind that the roads and bridges, the infrastructure, the bipartisan, got a provision added to it by Chris and Sinema to go after crypto. And I reported on it on Saturday and on Sunday. And I went on social media and I endorsed the Blockchain Association saying, I am not supporting this roads and bridges with this provision in there. But I also told Americans and viewers of this channel that said, hey, you know, in America, there's two major financial news channels that are broadcast media on TV. And then there's this channel that's on the internet, LLA. The broadcast media is out of out of the office until Monday. And so when they get back in the office, in the studio on Monday, and they start running about this news that there's a crypto provision in the roads and bridges, I think things are going to sort of snowball. They are snowballing already. Bitcoin was down severely. Republicans and Democrats both have investments in crypto. Um, and they're not happy about this provision. So this may be a big topic of chatter, and it certainly is front page news upon the financial news today, and crypto is down. So that is one thing they're dealing with. There's also the question in my mind, and this is just me talking off the cuff. I have no facts to support this whatsoever. It's just an opinion. I think that Nancy Pelosi could add an eviction moratorium provision into this recon at the 11th hour. There have been an enormous amount of statements by Jalapal, Nancy, Maxine Waters, progressives, and of course myself, about how atrocious it has been that the president allowed the eviction moratorium to expire and that there's no legislation anywhere that can pass for it. He said, go do it by Congress. Uh, where? I mean, there's no time, there's no place in the Recon? Maybe. Maybe in the recon. I have not seen any evidence that will put the eviction moratorium in the recon, but I think it would be a brilliant idea if they can slide it in there. Um, Nancy was 
going on all firing on all pistons this morning about uh, about the eviction moratorium, as was Jalapal. Could it get slid into the recon and get a modification, which would be another reason that there's more amendments and more changes? It may be. I mean, it's it's an urgent situation, and this is the only piece of legislation to slide stuff in there. So things are sort of changing very quickly. In these final days, things modify very quickly. And if you're with me for second stimulus, if you're with me for third stimulus, these final hours, final days, things get modified. This is the time for you to push purple power. It is the time for you to call up your Democratic senators, your Democratic House members, your progressives. Because remember, when it happened with second stimulus, when it happened with third stimulus, third stimulus first had no stimulus check in there. Then we got a stimulus check in there. Then the stimulus check was, was uh, excuse me, first there was no stimulus in there. Then we fought to get stimulus in there. Then they put unemployment stimulus in there, but no stimulus check. Then we fought and we got a stimulus check in there. Then they tried to remove it. Then they tried to modify it, all within a matter of a few days. There's a lot of room to maneuver things, Purple Power. So remember to be on your top toes to be ready to push during these final days and final hours. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. Stay on this channel because there's a lot of developing details. And then we go into Evenings LA, the new show tonight at 5 o'clock. And with that, subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers YouTube record. I want you part of this channel. A loving channel with the most information. And thank you for your incredible patronage last week. Stay with me all this week long. It's going to be a jam-packed week. I don't want you to miss any videos. And thank you for staying with me last weekend because I told you it was going to be a big weekend for news. Subscribe. Also, like this video. Two, 3,000 likes. Every like helps. And consider becoming a member so you get all this big money, $32,000 from Nancy and Mark. Congratulations, congratulations to everyone else. Stay informed, stay focused, stay with me as Overnight's Crypto starts right now.